Like from Qualcomm at the uh, Samsung Galaxy Unpacked event in New York, talking a little bit about a new foldable that they came out with, uh, powered by Qualcomm. So, Chris, thanks for stopping for a second. Sure. Um, talk a little bit about the new fold and the process that led up to the event today. What's special? What does Qualcomm bring to the table for this one? Okay, happy to. Happy to. Nice. No, really, uh, the foldable device, like a Fold 7, is one of the most complex smartphones you can build. Right, because uh, you have to make each side now very thin to do what Samsung's just done, really innovate on the form factor, innovate in this category, is create this foldable that is as thin, really, as a regular bar phone. Right? Incredibly challenging. Challenging on, on the processor side, which is what uh, Qualcomm provides, the A to Elite, to provide very efficient overall operation from a battery consumption, power consumption point of view, and also peak performance uh, that provides these delightful user experiences. Then you have to put it all together in these an, an incredible kind of mechanical design, thermal design, everything that Samsung's done. And then you have the opportunity to create incredible user experiences with this new kind of two sides of, of the device. You know, Samsung showed you could do modifications to a picture, for example, with the original on one side and with the, the new picture editing on the other side. Applications put across these two a lot of different ways uh, that they can take advantage of this new aspect ratio new AI experiences they can bring. Anyway, incredibly, uh, incredibly exciting device today uh, that, yeah, we feel very proud of uh, the partnership between Qualcomm and Sensor. Yeah, no, it's really impressive, the thinness when you hold it. It's really something else. You know, speaking of AI, we, now we've been in year two kind of Galaxy AI and AI overall or, you know, in the broader sense. How do you see Qualcomm having evolved over the last year to where we are now and, you know, where do you think this next year is going to take us in terms of the processing, the user experience that you already highlighted? Um, where do you think that's going to take us for, for the next couple years or so? It, Samsung described it well today. It's really this evolution from kind of a chat, bot chat type experiences where you could do kind of simple text and get a, a simple text, actually a sophisticated uh, text uh, response to really multimodal AI. And we had great demonstrations of that using, again, with Qualcomm technology, uh, from the Google team and from the Samsung team of the incredible things you can do if you can combine multiple modes of input into these AI kind of use cases and experiences. Um, and then you, you saw really the next stage, which is agentic AI, which is the ability now to have that AI do tasks for you. So something Samsung's been working on, Qualcomm's working on with them, is yeah, the ability now to say, look at what I see in the camera, think about it, come up with something, then do an action in a different application. So you're going to string together these multiple applications that really creates this really usable, uh, useful assistant type experiences. So, you know, this is what we're working on and, uh, and you can hear that from Samsung today.